Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to take a single image and convert it into a creative Photoshop brush that can be used for digital art and a whole bunch of other things. Let's get started. So here's our source image and all this is is a watercolor stroke painted onto a piece of paper and then scanned in. So the first thing that we want to do is turn this black and white. So all I'm going to do is come over here and add a black and white adjustment layer and that will take all the color out of our image. Next I want to isolate this brush stroke on a completely white background, so I'm going to add a levels adjustment. And the first thing that I'm going to do is drag this black slider to the right just until it meets the left edge of our white histogram. So if I drag that to the right, you'll notice that the image gets a little darker. And all that's doing is bringing things that are dark gray down until they're closer to black. Next I'm going to drag the white slider to the left until I get rid of all this texture in my background. So if I start dragging that to the left, you'll notice that the background gets brighter until all the texture is gone. After that, all I'm going to do is right click one of my layers and flatten my image. Then I'll come up and choose Edit, Define Brush Preset, and give it a name. So I'm going to name this brush Watercolor. So if I go into this document that I prepared for digital painting, I'm going to come over here and choose my brush tool, and come up to my brushes and select the brush that we just created. Now if I resize this a bit, you'll see that I can stamp with it and paint on my document. Now it doesn't look very natural yet, but that's what we're going to get into now. Next you'll want to come over and open your brush palette. If you can't see your brush palette, all you have to do is come up and click Window, Brush, and you'll see it pop up. So the first thing that we're going to look at is in Shape Dynamics. If I paint using my tablet without changing any settings, you see how it looks. It's just the same brush painted over and over again. But if I come up to my size jitter and increase that to about 25%, you'll notice that the size of my brush varies slightly. Next, I'm going to come up and turn the control to pen pressure. And what that does is lets me paint smaller and bigger based on how hard I press on my pen. So you'll see if I press really soft, I get a nice small stroke. And if I press harder, it gets bigger. You can also change the minimum diameter so your brush doesn't get too small. I'm going to set mine to about 15%. Next I'm going to come down and set the angle jitter all the way up to 100%. And what that's going to do is rotate my brush anywhere between 0 and 360 degrees as I paint. And that will make our brush stroke look a little more organic. I'm also going to come down and turn on flip X jitter and flip Y jitter. And that will flip my brush on both axes on top of rotating it. With all these settings set and my control set to pen pressure, I can now make some pretty cool organic strokes. Next I'm going to come up into my brush tip shape, and right now the spacing is set to 25%. If I decrease that to 1%, I can get a much smoother brush stroke. Lastly, I'm going to come up into the texture settings and give it a little bit of texture. Now the texture that we're using is called Rough, and you can find it in the Erodible Textures pack. It's a default in Photoshop, so if you click this little gear icon, you'll find Erodible Textures down here. I'm going to leave all these settings at default, and I'm going to adjust the depth until I can see the texture appear in my preview down here. So somewhere around 8%. That way when I paint, I'll get some texture on my brush as well. You can also come into the transfer settings and set the control for the flow to pen pressure. That way, the softer you paint, the more transparent your brush stroke will be, and the harder you paint, the more opaque it will be. Now you can come into your brush presets panel and click the new icon down here to create a new brush preset. So if I hit OK and then come down here you'll see that I have my original watercolor brush stroke preset which doesn't have any of those cool settings applied. But if I choose my new watercolor preset you'll see that it has all the pen pressure and texture and opacity settings. If you're serious about digital art you'll definitely want to get a graphics tablet. You can create some great brushes for use with the mouse, but by automating things like brush size with pen pressure, you can get some really creative looking brush strokes. I'm John Shaver for Photoshop Video Academy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.